first. That wasn't about the breaking zone, that was about the bike getting to the breaking zone first. And that's done it was top track Raz Gattioglu on the Pacetti Kawasaki running wide at the top of the hill but managing to get it. Look at the inside of 66 John Sykes. That's an excellent start yeah. there for Jordi Torres. On to miss the back end. Uh, he just got himself a little bit closer to Jonathan Ray. He was doing that earlier on. Jordi Torres and Leon Haslam. It's Pedicini Kawasaki versus Provec official Kawasaki. The Nick position. Now Davis on those. That was close to contact there into turn two. Colonel Landry's had a good start, he's up into ninth position, Michael van der Mark, he's up into 10th position from 12th on the... Nelson, you've got an extra bit of speed like we saw from Davis's bike there. What a freight train this is, it's a bit like... Onto the left hand at 12, wow, well, where do you go, there's bikes all over the place, Sykes on the white BMW... Yeah, course, Sykes... Uh, no we don't, we look back from Davis Ducati at the... It was really the other half. Laverty's right behind him. Let's see whether the BMW can respond. He's just got to keep focus now. Not like and there was Alex Luss at the same time was having a look at Jonathan Ray and that shoved Haslam, the man we look. Leon Hector, I'm not a doctor, but it was kind of a big cyst, kind of boil type thing. Uh, got it uh, physical circuit in terms of your legs. Loads of places having to put weight through your foot resting help body. Davis a little bit wide. Definitely a very unconventional line. He's done the picture. He's gone again. Here's Chas Davis versus Jonathan Ray. And I know I keep here he is up the inside of Alex Lowe's. This is for fourth position. Both British Superbike champions to keep the thing going and that pop him on the inside for turn two. Del Bianco's just taking on, just leaving the lane, having taken his ride through penalty. Yeah, better say he wasn't going to uh, trouble the front. He went in front of him, he's up to sixth. And he's got Jordi Torres. Right. One of, the, one of the problems you've got is when you're scrapping like that, running offline, running onto different parts of the track. Otherwise, he'd lose the front end. No ABS on these bikes. Michael. Together. Now, is there anything going to be changing <laughs> here? Whoa. There's Lowe's on Jonathan Ray. Alex Lowe's on to the round of the season at Phillip Island in Australia when he's got Haslam right up behind him now. But remember, Alex Lowe's about this feeling. <laughs> you've got to do what you've got to do when you're in a, in a group like this. This is the pass. He's going to break. Stopping the bike up the inside. Runs wide back on the throttle. You'll see him close the throttle again. Then up. Off his own again. It will be nine out of nine if it stays like this. Put it and tweeters right here as we sit in the booth. Yes, Tim Witt, 69, and Greg Hayne. I think it's tall later on the race. Like I said, very, very physical place to ride this. Second down to 13th. Right to the back of the train. The Nick out back to Kamiya and Kianari on the Hondas. Right to Berger and Del Bianco completing the key. It's been challenged very hard by Charles Davis and now by the Yamaha on a consistent basis. <laughs> I mean, the camera tends to make that distance look a bit closer, but that was close. Up and right. Look how the weather conditions have changed just now on the track. The cars and hats on. There's Bautista. Bye bye. At Motorland, Aragon. Although the track temperature back in Thailand, of course, was 57 degrees Celsius. Now, kind of breaks. Well, Andrew's just got underneath Van der Mark as well in the background, and he's up into ninth position. Mark. We were talking about rev limits, of course, and after this race, we're expecting to... Yeah, the technical guy put it was... Uh, he was actually very succinct for what he was talking about, but he's still quite a con the rider element from that, which is difficult in bikes. It's a massive part, far more than it ever is in cars, and complicated for me to understand. What I can tell you is that cutting 250 revs off, uh, uh, hit a rev limit and then stop, it's not going to cut much off it, I don't think that. If you keep cutting the revs, yes. Oh. But Haslam has gone. No, he hasn't. Haslam was sucked into a mistake as well there. Both Kawasaki's out. To any bad move made by the person in front. Either runs wide or even a big rear slide, you know, when it pops you out. The Lowe's on the blue Yamaha. This could be a chance now while those Kawasaki's have dropped back a little bit. Incidentally, pushing. Dream. Under Mark back in front of Marco Melandri then in ninth and tenth spots. Alex Lowe's still running. The Just slightly tighter line. And we're talking about tighter line. We're talking about maybe six or eight inches. That's top rack. Pro round Gattioglu. Oh, Davis is wide. Yeah, big, big wide open from Davis wide. there. Yeah, it was, yeah. And that Razgatioglu retirement on the Pachetti bike means that Kianari is into the World Championship point. Jonathan Ray as well. Jonathan Ray really just comes to the comparison with where Bautista is with his bike. Really glad to see 
harder than he won't do on the Kawasaki, just as Davis has been having to do on the V-Twin Ducati over the last few years. I've got pace to stay with you, he'll be nipping away somewhere. Yeah, actually, he's looking to pass to Jordan Torres. The Catalan on the Pinatini Kawasaki. Well, Jonathan Ray really could do with it. We're into lap 10 of 18 now, 9 to go. Torres. How long since Jonathan Ray didn't finish when he finished on the podium? Will has them be able to follow through. He's going to have a look as they come to the reverse corkscrew, but he can't follow through because it's... Boys, that Jonathan Ray had that amazing run of victories all the way from Lagoon.